I think I'm ready to make a record like this. I needed to know what can I do to put my unique stamp on playing a standard. When I came up with the idea of this orchestra, I thought, now that's how I do it, that, that we do something different. I wanted to find songs that I could play in a trio format. I've wanted to make a, a full orchestra album for a long, long time. Of course, expense is the big part that keeps people away from doing a record like this. Um, but also, when COVID happened last year, last year, I had a lot of free time on my hands. <laughs> Jeff's been really important as far as I see it. Uh, we wanted to make this album really sen sentimental and nostalgic. Um, and, and create this wonderful world. Jeff took uh, the string writing to another level. He really brought something really, really very special. I, I've always loved guitar and orchestra together. There's something that just magically goes together. Catherine Shaw has been a great friend of mine for a long, for a long time. We even did a Christmas record together uh, a few years ago and she's just got the most extraordinary voice. I see skies of blue and clouds of white Bright, blessed day, I was lucky enough to be able to get uh, one of my all-time favorite trumpet players, Randy Brecker, on this record. Uh, Peter Erskine is playing drums. Harvey Mason is also playing drums. Chuck Berghoffer, one of the great bass players, still playing amazing into his 80s. Derek Olds is on bass. Also, Jeff Gascoigne is playing bass. Uh, another drummer called Dave Carasoni is playing on one track. <laughs> You know, I've been in the commercial jazz world for a long time, and this is not that. I mean, if this record was released in 1953, it might be considered a commercial record. But uh, I, I, I certainly think this is this is probably the best work I've done. It's the most mature work I've ever done, and uh, I'm super proud of it. Yeah, and it's a it's a big left turn for me. You know, it's a left turn for me because I've never recorded an album of standards before and I've certainly never recorded an album with a full orchestra before. It's so true and I think that was a result of my conversations with Jeff writing these string arrangements. We wanted it to be nostalgic and sentimental and warm. So I think my guitar playing is at a point where I know how I want it to sound and feel. Uh, you know, all the extraneous notes have been cast away and it's just about melody and creating beauty, you know, and I'm not scared to do it, frankly.